now it's time to add two more uh, action methods for uh, edit and delete so first i am going to add or edit okay edit and this will be the same edit okay so i want to edit the employee so to edit the employee i need to uh, here in the first action method id uh, id of the employee okay so i will get that id and based on that id i want to fetch the record so student okay uh, i will say student the object and so this is the service name okay dot get student y id this method i have to call okay and what what i have um, get in this student object that i need to pass here so that the data will be binded okay i need to implement this method so to implement this method i need to write the code the student service so guys uh, this is the code that i am going to use to get the record okay copy the code here i am going to copy the code and write here so i already have created one student object here okay or either you uh, i already have this student object here so no need to create here or uh, okay so i will do one thing just removing this object so this is the object that i am getting and here i will be dot email okay so that is the thing i need to do so this is now done so i need to uh, change the query here so select id name email from student where id is equal to here i need uh, it will i will get the id here so int id i will say student id okay so this will be here like i can pass like this i will get the data so this is the query i am going to write here okay and after that i am uh, executing this this query so my data will be fetched from the database based on the provided id and i will bind this data into this uh, student object and it will return this student object so i need to change this here as well in the service so now my errors have gone here remove okay so this is done now now go to the back to the student controller so this is not required right now so i'm just going to close it okay this is asking for id so i am passing this id so now it is done okay so when uh, when i will get the record of the student at that time i want to update this student so to update the student i need to write the code like edit edit student and i need to pass the data okay id so to do this i need to write one method edit student and that that method uh, will be like uh, same as uh, that we are having a uh, add method okay so i am going to the into my uh, service class so i need to copy the code complete code and 
I need to write this code. <coughs> so this is I need to add it. Add it. The same thing. We have to write in the I service. Okay. So now it is done. And the same thing for student delete. Okay. So I'm just going to copy this for delete as well. And I will update the delete student. Okay. So in the edit, what I have to do here. I need to use the execute non query and I need to update this. So here update student. I need to change this query update student set. I see I don't want to use set uh, set name is equal to this will be a string type oh, st. <coughs> st dot name and email id is equal to this we in the string so stu dot email and i need to remove this or where id is equal to i need to pass the id so id will be stu dot id okay guys so this thing i need to do so guys actually i forget to make the id is a primary key so do, whenever you will do this thing don't forget so i have already created my table in the database and I unfortunately I forget to make this ID as a time degree so no matter don't worry so we can see our office in this as well so this is done so I think uh, it is the right time to add the uh, sorry that time to add the view for edit so add it Select it here, add model the student. Click on add button. The same thing I need to do for delete. So I will create two action method for delete as well. Okay, same uh, like we did for edit. Same thing I need to do on delete. So suppose delete delete. Okay, ID here I need to do get it run ID by ID and delete I need to call the delete method here. Okay, and that delete method required. So I have already created this delete and need to check the service here I am having the service interface as well. So now I need to update the query you know, for the delete. So this is also very simple, simple query I need to write here. So the query will be uh, delete from a student where id is equal to uh, stu dot id guys uh, actually my code is done now so now i'm just building this and now i need to run this so i am done i think before that i need to add the controller for delete add view 
delete here select the delete uh, don't miss any of the views okay so view is very important so guys <coughs> now i need to change one more thing here in the like uh, after edit i i want to redirect to this uh, like uh, return i will say that i redirect to actions redirect to actions redirect to action and action name map um, will be name of here i need to provide the name of so index method i need to go okay so that one more thing i want so same thing for delete after deleting i want to move to the index method where i can see the record of my record available record so uh, i think i already did for this uh, this for create as well I need to do this as well create okay so i think uh, it's done now i now i am going to run my project before that uh, clean the code and rebuild the project so that if there will be any error i will get that so now it's done now i am going to run it so guys this is my uh, sql developer uh, here i am having a database and this is the student table so guys when i created this table and unfortunately i forget to make id as a primary key so make sure that uh, whenever you are going to create a student table you have to create id as a primary key okay and uh, there is one record i have created okay so i am going to run my application here so it is is going to run i have set a student as a by default record okay so now you can see here my uh, record is displayed for you here now i am going to create the first new record okay so now i am going to click on create new and here we can see the uh, user interface so i have not created id as a primary key so i have to give manually so suppose i am giving here id2 and now i am giving any name here okay and i am providing here uh, email id okay and uh, suppose this is the email id now i am going to click on create but now you can see the record is created for us now i am going to edit this record and guys you can see here the details uh, link is not visible for you because i have uh, commented that option okay so now i am going to click on edit button to edit this record okay now i am just going to change the email id peter b suppose okay peter b and here i am saying uh, like peter b or uh, click on the save button and you can see the record is edited okay now i am going to delete this record as well okay so you can see our all the operations will be now i am going to click on the delete for date now it is asking for the confirmation delete are you sure you want to delete this student so if i will click on the yes, delete button this record will be deleted permanently if i will go back to the list now we can see the back to the list now i am going to click on the delete now delete you can see now record is deleted successfully okay so guys this is all the crud operation in asp.net code with oracle database and here I am using latest version of ASP.NET Core that is 3.1. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you in the next video. Guys, if you haven't subscribed my YouTube channel, then please subscribe my YouTube channel for more videos. You can follow me on my Facebook page. This is the blog URL. So I will provide you both of the link in the description of this video. Thank you guys.